Hey, good people. Good afternoon. Good evening. I'm about to share this video on my page. So I wanted to give you a hi. I'm sorry. Hey, good people. How y'all doing? <laughs> It's your girl, Lolita Perry, but my friends call me Lola. I am the creator of Lola's World. I am on my front porch today, and I wanted to give you all an update on the Mint Tower, um, how it's looking, how it's growing. If you remember, well, here's the Mint Tower. Um, I originally put some, some polka dots on it, right, when I decorated it, but lo and behold, the way the mint drapes over, if I had done any other, you, you, you're just not going to see it. In fact, that was in the middle. Hey, MJ. If this polka dot tray was in the middle, you wouldn't even be able to see it. If you look, let me see if I can get this down here. If you look even further at the bottom, I even did a, um, a white container. Um, yeah. So the the containers are black <laughs> as i wanted them but the only real design and decor that you can see is the one on the top and you wouldn't even be able to see that if i hadn't put some lettuce up here um because the mint is just draping over overpowering all of the beautiful uh decorations on it but hey we tried but let me show you this mint tower, how amazing it is and all the varieties. There are over 200 varieties of mint. Did you know that? I did not know that. Over 200 varieties of mint flavors. Let me go through some of the ones I have. Okay. Um, so right here at the top, this tray we're starting with a a chocolate mint <laughs> a chocolate mint we have orange mint apple mint sweet mint i'm going to tell you my all-time favorite what is this one hold on i believe that's a spearmint that's an extra spearmint um the ginger mint i have a ginger mint it smells amazing this whole tower smells amazing the bottom trays are more of the the ones we're used to it's a peppermint um layer there's a sweet mint layer oh my gosh mary you're not a fan of the mints oh you wait okay okay i got something for you do you like detox teas in a sense not the one, you know, the ones that promise to make you skinny. I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something in a second. I'm going to show you how to put it in your um, your remedies. Um, peppermint, all of the mints. I told you chocolate mint, orange mint, pineapple mint. I even have a strawberry mint in here. Here's the great thing about these mints. These are perennials. So they will come back every year. So, once they've actually finished giving all that they can give at the end of their season, I'm going to snip them back kind of low. I'm going to put some hay on them. I don't have to, but just to protect them over the winter and put them to the side. Um, they can probably stay right here on the porch, especially because of the decoration that's on them. And in, um, in probably in February... I can bring these back out, um, start watering them lightly, and they will come back, honey, year after year. So that one-time purchase, whether I bought it by a seedling or whether I use some seeds to grow them myself, these are the gift that just keep on giving. Now, they are very evasive. Let me show you. You see how viney this is and how, how it's running away? how long and drapey these are very evasive if you put these in your gar if you put them in, in your garden bed it's going to grow like wildfire and it's going to take over your your whole bed i have another good um another good example of one that ran away look at this here chocolate mint just look i need y'all to see this chocolate mint this chocolate mint the vine on this chocolate mint 
listen so this one somehow ran down into one of the other trays and decided to go into the soil and go up under the soil and it took roots do you see it started growing roots because it's a vine and it's invasive it started trying to take over the whole joint so what i'm going to do mm -hmm, is i'm going to snip this off today and i'm going to repot it because it's got some really good roots in here that it will grow wherever i put it oh i'm, I'm talking good right now so at the end of the year well throughout the year because this is getting kind of bushy even the sweet mint is like going buff wild. I'm going to um, trim these back and I'm going to put some in my water tonight. Just put it in a water bottle and shake it up, let it sit. And I'll probably end up um, drinking it tomorrow. But this is what I do with all of the, the mints throughout the season. When I'm pulling them back, if I'm not using them right away. This is a lemon balm. Oh my God, that smells amazing. So this is what I do with this. Um, I use this pretty much as a, a tea. We use all kind of loose leaf teas. We use Earl Grey, the greens, the black, the monks, all different types of teas that we use in our home. So what I'll do with this is um, um, add this right into the bag or right, put this right into the diffuser whenever I make it. But this is a lemon balm. So all I did was um, put it in a dehydrator. That's my method of drying out um, our meats our vegetables, our fruits, as well as our herbs. I put them right into the dehydrator and these will hold into the mason jar. I'm, this is a smaller batch and I can have this, it'll last me throughout all of the winter. This is what's left from last year. Um, so that's a lemon balm and then the same thing with the spearmint. Again, guys, y'all can't smell this, but this smells amazing. Now, let me tell you. Did I tell you guys? Did you see the other day, the video, when I posted that I was out at Homestead and they had some stevia? I didn't know that I could grow my own stevia. Well, of course, I can't make it, you know, white crystallized or granular. So, what I am, what I found I can do with it is boil the leaves and make sugar water and whatever item y'all i'm outside and i live in the hood so give me a second because <laughs> i live in the hood and this vehicle is um loud and i i hope he go by fast and he don't slow drop hold on one second just noise for no reason okay Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to take the stevia, I'm going to boil the leaves um, and make sugar water and use the sweetness of the water to um, I live in the hood, y'all. I live in D.C. in the hood, okay? I'm on my front porch making this happen, making my green space happen. <laughs> but I'm going to use the sugar water instead of using regular water for my tea or my coffee. I can use the sugar water that I, I prepared from the stevia or I can dehydrate it. I'm going to try a couple ways and see which way I like best, right? I can dehydrate it and mix it right into my dehydrated um mint leaves which would be awesome um steep these leaves use these leaves and then you know what we do with our our leaves after we use them right the same thing we do with our coffee grinds <laughs> mary j don't pay for a flat tire well if it let it hopefully i don't want to pray for that but if it happens happen up the street because he got thumping music and i don't want him to be flat right here <laughs> But if I were to dry the stevia leaves and I were to put them with my mint leaves, I'd have to find that right balance to make sure it does give me the right sweetness. Like, is it a tablespoon per two tablespoons? So I had to play with it, but I think I like the sugar water. I'll tell you guys um, how that works out. But guys, this is my mint tower. So what is this? Lettuce is a great companion with mint. They grow well together. They kind of like the non hot hot weather so these are growing really amazing you're gonna find that as things begin to heat up here in DC that these are going to bolt that means that they're going to grow some flowers and that means they're tired 
and when they grow flowers that means they're trying to go to seed that means i've done all that i can do i produced all that i can produce and now i'm going to kick out some seeds so we can keep reproducing after ourselves because i know i'm about to die so when your flower when your plants begin to flower that that means they're bolting that means they're getting ready to produce some seeds so that the um, original plant can go ahead and die back it's produced all that it can for you so in the um when it begins to heat up we're going to notice that these are going to start to flower and they're going to be like i'm tired so at that point i can just snip them snip them back i can just snip them back and um get them ready to just sit on the side and prepare to overwinter and be ready for the next spring do you, are now i know mj says she's not she's not a mint fan but this is a really great way to um sneak in some um um herbal detoxes into our life um and have some yummy goodness preserved y'all know i'm all about the self-sufficiency right so this is something that we won't have to buy and it's a great mix of all the different things that we're going to have so we're going to add in our in our um detox tea some lavender some um i got some chamomile over there and some uh dandelions and some mint and some echinacea so that's kind of what i'm working towards when i build my healing garden on the front porch is once I get all these things together, I plan to make a really nice detox tea, something that can take us throughout the winter, especially not knowing what's um, gonna go on with this whole um, pandemic and where things are. Just wanna make sure we have a healthy, boosted immune system at all costs. Okay guys, that's the mint tower. I'm gonna give you another spin so you can see how. Okay, okay. <laughs> I gotta get her in the frame though, right? <laughs> So we got our chocolate mint, our ginger mint, our pineapple mint, our strawberry mint, our peppermint, our sweet mint, <laughs> our spearmint, our orange, ginger, chocolate, apple. This is going to be amazing dehydrated. So that's my mint tower and these are my updates. Thanks guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.